Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once again, Pastor Danko here. How are you? I hope God has blessed you and you are happy and enjoying life today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, let's continue our um, series of these steps for citizenship to the New Jerusalem, the city of God, which will come down from heaven. Let's dive in right to step 1C uh, of citizenship to the New Jerusalem with God. Hallelujah. Let us read. What is the evidence that Jesus is God? Yes, the evidence that Jesus is God manifest in the flesh. Do we have evidence? Do we have proof? Uh, let's compare the following passages of Scripture. In the Old Testament, we can find Zechariah 14.4.5 and then Isaiah 49, uh, 26. And let's compare it with the New Testament, which is Philippians 3.20 and 1 Thessalonians 3.11 through 13. I hope you would just uh, read it uh, by your private um, reading because it is too long to write it down uh, over here and so please follow the uh, verses being written and please read it through for your uh, benefit and consumption it's uh, also in the Old Testament Isaiah 48 12 Isaiah 44 8 and Isaiah 9 6 uh, in the New Testament, Revelation 1, 17 uh, through 18, um, Titus 2, 13, and then Colossians 2, 9. According to 1 Timothy 3, 16, God was manifest in the flesh. Compare the, let's compare the following passages. Uh, God the Father and Lord Jesus Christ. To the left, God the Father. God the Father is the Redeemer and Savior, Isaiah 14 and 26. The Lord Jesus Christ is the Savior, Philippians 3.20. God the Father will come again with His saints, according to Zechariah 14.4-5. Jesus Christ will come again with His saints, according to Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 11-13. to God the Father, the first and the last, Isaiah 48, 12, while Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ is the first and the last, according to Revelation 1, 17 to 18. There is no other God beside Him, uh, God the Father, according to Isaiah 44, 8, and the uh, Lord Jesus Christ, according to Titus 2, 13 and Acts 4, 12, He is the great God and Savior. Notice, in John chapter 2, verse 19 through 21, Jesus said that in three days, He will raise the temple up again. But He speak of the temple of His body. But in Acts chapter 2, verse 30 through 32, the Bible said that it was God who raised Jesus from the dead. From these passages, it is clear that Jesus Christ is referred to as the only true God. Is there a contradiction between these two verses or they just flow in one stream of the truth? I. What are the two natures of Jesus Christ? Number one, God, according to 1 Timothy 3.16 and 1 John 5.20. He is the one true God and eternal life. And number two, man. Uh, it's one of the natures of Jesus Christ that he is 
um, a natural man according to 1 Timothy 2 verse 5. Well, God has and Jesus Christ has. Let's compare it. God has wisdom. Jesus Christ has wisdom in 1 Corinthians 1 24. God has word. Jesus Christ has word and he is the word. God has power. Jesus Christ is the power of God and has power. God has image. Jesus Christ in, is the only image of the invisible God. Summary. God is one. He is called the Father when He created the world, the Son of God when He redeemed us in, at the cross of Calvary, and the Holy Spirit in the transformation of human lives in this present age, our time. A good phrase to remember would be, God is Father in creation, Son in redemption, and the Holy Spirit in regeneration. The only true God is also the Savior, and He is also the Redeemer and the Holy Spirit. Omnipotent, Everlasting Father, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ, according to Isaiah 9, 6, 1 Timothy 6, 15, 16, and Revelation 19 through 16. Now, let us pray for uh, Thanksgiving prayer that we have come to the conclusion we have completed uh, studying the first uh, step um, for citizenship to the New Jerusalem city with God. Let's bow down our head and pray. Our dear heavenly loving Father, we thank you today because you have been with us and you have granted us the truth of your word. I pray, dear God, for thy divine understanding that you would open up our minds and our heart that we may see the truth and the rima of your word. I pray, loving Father, that I would bless each one who has uh, gone through this study because of their hunger and thirst for your word. I pray for the Holy Spirit to give them, Father, the hunger and thirst and the desire to study further, more and better, your holy word. Bless them, I pray, and protect them, cover them with your precious blood. And I do hope, loving Father, and pray to you that once again they will be able to study more in the next uh, step, next lesson, Lord, the number two lesson, number two step to becoming a citizen in the beautiful city of the New Jerusalem. Hallelujah. All the praise and honor and glory be yours. Amen. Okay. Congratulations. You have shown utmost sincerity and love for God by having completed the steps 1A, 1B, and 1C of the steps to citizenship in the city of the New Jerusalem with God. Okay, okay, thank you and God bless you more. See you in step number two video. Bye bye. God bless. Take care.